Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hola. Hi, families of room 253. This will be some information for the upcoming week of school. First of all, our learning showcase. Thank you so much for coming and celebrating your son or daughter's learning. We had 100% family participation, which means all of our students were able to share their learning with their family, and that's amazing. Um, it's also a sign of a really strong learning community. So thank you so much for taking the time to be there. Um, something important to remember when thinking about our learning showcase is that as an um, IB school and as a PYP school, we equally value um, the content, what students are learning, with how the students are learning. Um, so I want you to think about the, the showcase that you saw um, and try to think about the learner profile attributes that you saw, the PYP attitudes that you saw, um, the PYP learning skills that you saw, and if you're not very familiar with those, I included some images in the blog post. Um, and just take a browse through those, and I think you'll be really surprised to see that in addition to the content um, that students were acquiring and sharing this unit, there was also a lot of creativity and risk-taking and communication and social skills and taking action. Um, so we want to make sure that as a PYP school and as PYP families, we're not just looking and celebrating um, for the content, but also for the approaches to learning um, and the, the attributes and the attitudes that the students are exhibiting while they're learning um, the content and the knowledge. Um, we will be asking for some feedback about the learning showcase. Um, you guys were risk takers with us. We tried something totally new um, instead of an assembly and we will be looking for both parent feedback and student feedback. So hopefully at some point in the upcoming week I will send you an email with a link to a short Google form and please be honest and share your actual perspective of how the learning showcase went and the grade 4 team will be using that to make future decisions. Um, an update about our summatives, we have finished our unit of inquiry summatives and like I mentioned in um, the video in the post last week, students were very involved in the assessment process. Um, in my perspective, assessment is not something we do to students, assessment is something we do with students. Um, so students have done their self-assessment, I've done my teacher assessment, we've had one-on-one -on -one conference. Um, and the conference kind of went one of three ways. If my assessment and the student assessment was the same, then that um, becomes the grade that you'll see on the report card. If the student assessment and my assessment had a little bit of a disconnect, we had a conversation to try to figure out why. Um, was there something that the, the student knew that I wasn't quite getting from their summative activities? Or perhaps did the student think they knew more, um, but after our conversation they realized that there was actually some more to learn. So it was a really amazing process, um, and the final result is uh, a rubric that we will be sending home this week. Um, I will try to remember to send it home on Monday so you can look for it there. Um, just a few notes about our assessment practice at AIS and um, our perspective about grades. So we use a four-point learning spectrum, beginning, developing, competent, and extended. My job as the classroom teacher is to get the students to a competent understanding. So any students who finished the unit with a competent understanding, that's a good thing. That's where we want them. If the students want to strive to extend their understanding, then that's something that comes from within. That's a self-motivation piece. That's when the learner pushes themselves to go forward. So any students who achieved at a competent understanding level, we talked about if they would be interested in pursuing um, an extended understanding next unit and how to go about doing that. For students that are still developing their understanding or beginning their understanding, um, those aren't bad things. Like we talked about last week, it, it doesn't mean a lack of intelligence, it doesn't mean a lack of effort, it can mean a few different things. So for the students who finished the unit with a beginning or developing understanding, we had a really honest uh, reflection and conversation and tried to figure out um, what blocked the learning. In some cases, some students identified that their choices about where they were learning, who they were learning with, might have blocked some of their learning. Um, in other situations, some students feel like they could try a little bit harder in future units. And in other situations, some students feel like they tried their best, but had some difficulty understanding and would like some extra support from me um, outside of class time. So you will notice that um, at the bottom there's some general comments and for any of the students who set some goals um, for next unit that will be written down below. If you would like to meet with uh, me and your child about the summative, about the rubric, I'm happy to accommodate that. You can just uh, phone or email me and we'll set up uh, an appointment. 
Um, Sunday, there is no school. Uh, this has been marked on our elementary calendar, so hopefully this is something that you have been aware of. Um, but I just wanted to send an extra reminder so that your, uh, your children don't show up Sunday with no class to go to. Um, on Sunday and on Saturday, the teachers become the students and we have an IB workshop coming in to help us be better IB educators and serve your children better. I'll probably be tweeting about it, um, so if you or your child would like to see what my learning um, journey is, you're welcome to follow me on Twitter and um, see how those two days go for me. Lastly, uh, this upcoming week we'll be doing some check-ins, some checkpoints um, for math and for writing. So these checkpoints are really important. Um, before we do our summative activities, we want the students to reflect and be aware of where they are now and what they still need to do. It's also good information for me so I can see um, who might need a little bit of extra support and help. So math and writing checkpoints will happen this week and that will inform how the students are planning their learning, how I'm um, assisting the students. If you're at all interested in finding out um, about how the learning check-in goes for your child, you're welcome to talk to them about it or you can email me um, and I can send you a little bit of information about that. We can also meet in person and talk about it. So that's pretty much it for this upcoming week. Short week, four days starting on Monday. Um, I will definitely miss your children on Sunday. We will send home those rubrics of our first unit of inquiry. And also we will be conducting our um, midway writing and math checkpoints for our first term. Thank you very much. I hope you're all having a nice weekend with your family. Masalama.